and welcome to a new video here on my channel. I am so excited about this video. I have been waiting for this product for so long and it's a little bit harder for me to receive products early on as I live in Sweden and a lot of things has to be shipped for like weeks <laughs> and also I'm not on the PR so that is why this is a little bit late but today we are going to try out the blue blood palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I am so excited. I only have the uh, the androgyny palette and the what's that other one called? Don't remember but I actually don't own a what's it called red blood? <laughs> The other blood palette. I am shocked how cute this packaging is. It looks like a little coffin. I absolutely love it and I love also that Jeffrey has his YouTube name right here and I thought that was really cute. So yes, we are not only going to try out the palette, we are also going to swatch all of the uh, lipstick bundle, the blue blood lipstick bundle all of these shades and we're going to uh, lip swatch them of course but i will be back in one second with my full base done i actually have a video right here if you guys want to see my current favorite base routine then go and check out that video and yeah i will be back in one second i am back and i got my base and brows done i don't have a highlighter on though we are going to do that last i'm thinking wow it is gorgeous. So the colors that I am most excited about is Deceased Blue Blood. I really like Mint Tea, I'm Cold, and Ocean Eyes. I want to do something different. But yeah, let's just go in with Blue Blood. Seems fitting <laughs> at first, and I'm going to put it in the crease. Okay, the pigment of this shadow is absolutely amazing i'm going to go in with this shade called i'm cold and just blend it out even more on the outer edges and also i will go in with both of them through also underneath my eyes i think that you guys can see i did get a little bit of fallout right now but i think that is mostly because i was not at all gentle with applying this i took so much on the brush which i didn't really need the pigment is amazing on both of the shades which i'm kind of unused to <laughs> so that is why i use too much of the pigment i feel like but i yeah i don't really need to but it's just i'm not used to it a lot of blue shades usually are so bad i just watched blue monday and deceased and i really love the shade of deceased but i'm thinking if i should use it on the entire lid maybe that would be a little bit too boring? I'm not really sure. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to go in with Deceased. And I'm gonna put it, I think, all over the lid with my Arya Stark needle sword. Because obvious reasons. That did not apply very nicely. Let's try with my finger. Okay, yeah. Much better. This shadow is like, it's not glittery, but it's a sheer shimmer almost metallic i would say that shade was not as pigmented as the others but that is something that i'm used to matte shades are usually the most pigmented um and more shimmery shades you kind of need to pack now i'm gonna go in with blue on monday and i'm just going to darken the crease and outer corner a little bit it looks so cool i love blue eyeshadow you guys i'm already in love with this palette my latest blue eyeshadow tutorial i looked through my entire collection and i found like one blue eyeshadow and i'm yeah I'm just so excited about this already. Now I'm actually going to go in with mint tea in the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> and then also I'm going to go in with a little bit of Colinen, Colinen, this white pearly shimmer shade. And I'm going to apply that on top of mint tea. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone. I was actually thinking to use the Skin Frost in Ice Cold for highlight, but that shade was so nice. So I'm actually going to go in with that on my 
face as well. I am absolutely in love with how this looks, but I want to make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> so I am going to go in with the likable mood crayon from Linda Halber Cosmetics in my waterline. All right, so the waterline is orange now and it looks so much cooler but i was thinking we could experiment a little bit more with the flame thrower velour liquid lipstick also from your free star cosmetics i'm thinking that we could do a a little line right here like a little cut crease but like not a cut crease you know i thought that would be cool also let's add a little glitter afterwards <laughs> and this could be a fail but i think that it will look cool so yeah let's go that did not turn out as cool as i would have hoped but as i said we are going to go in with some glitter i'm gonna put it in the inner corner also where i put the uh orange eyeliner. This is one of my new favorite products of all time. It is the Glossier Play and it's the glitter jelly called Phantasm. Like that. And now I'm gonna apply my secret eyelashes and then some mascara and then I will be right back. So the eyes are completely done. I don't know if I regret the decision with the orange liner. Although I've tried out the shades and uh, I love that there's a palette with only bluish cool toned eyeshadows. I'm so obsessed with it. And before we go into the lipsticks, I just really wanted to say that all of the matte shades were amazing quality and amazing pigment. The more glittery shades, I've actually not tried this. Let's just watch it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I not use that? I will someday. <laughs> With the shimmery or glittery shades, if you use your finger or just a wet brush, it will go on so smoothly and so pigmented. Maybe not with a dry brush, so just have that in mind. But overall, the eyeshadow palette is absolutely amazing and I love it so much. <laughs> Alrighty, and now for the lipsticks. Here they are. First off, we have Drug Lord. Oh, okay. As you guys can see, Drug Lord is not fully opaque. It could probably go fully opaque if I used it uh, two times, but it is really cool that they have a shade like this. My teeth look so yellow. That is just so not cute. Next off, we have the shade Ice Tray. Really cool, slight, shimmery. And next off, we have the shade Yawbreaker. I don't think that this is the most flattering shade, but I just love this kind of like turquoise, sky blue kind of color. So I actually think that this is my favorite. I think it looks really, really cool. And now for blue velvet that I actually have in a full size and I really, really love it. I think I'm changing my mind, even though I said that Yawbreaker would be my favorite. It looks really nice. My teeth doesn't look yellow. Yeah, this is probably my favorite. My lips are really starting to hurt. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the um, lip scrub berry pie, blueberry pie, I mean, that I also got in the collection. And uh, yeah, it smells like a blueberry pie. I actually, from before, have the candy necklace and also watermelon gum. Just gonna see which one I actually like the most. <laughs> okay, yeah. The candy necklace is a total winner in my opinion but let's go in with blueberry pie just because i've never used it next off the shade abused uh, i could really see myself using this although i'm not sure if i would use this instead of like a black you guys know i love black lipstick <laughs> it's my go-to <laughs> but it is a really nice shade and also i just want to give a huge shout out to these mini lipstick bundles. They are so fun. And now for diamond application, the absolute worst lip shade, not my favorite, but it's cool. And now for the only glittery shade called Titanic. I did not really think that much about this shade because I don't really like metallic liquid lipsticks, but this is like glitter. 
it looks really cool and I think it would look absolutely amazing with like a holographic gloss or something on top. And now finally, thank God for the last lipstick and this shade is called Medusa. You guys know I used to love gray lipsticks. It's like a gray blue, I guess, but I would say it's a more a dark, dark gray and it looks absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy that we did not have to swatch anything else. <laughs> I would say that this is my second favorite for sure. And very, very wearable in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the liquid lipsticks. I just wanna say, you guys already know, I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics for Dora liquid lipsticks. I absolutely love the formula and everything about them. Although all of these shades, I mean, not super wearable, so maybe not for all of you guys, but if you do like to play around with colors, then I would really recommend the bundle. Oh my God, I'm so dirty, I just saw now. I have makeup all over. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. So please do also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Subscribe to my vlogging channel. And that is it. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope that we will see each other in the next video. Bye, guys.